I might not be a globetrotting adventurer, but I've had my fair share of escapades. From the dense Borneo jungle to the outskirts of Barcelona, hiking in the foothills of Mount Tibidabo. One place, however, has always been at the top of my bucket list, Japan. I'm not a spontaneous traveler. My itinerary consists of meticulous planning. Each day is a carefully crafted adventure designed to soak in the essence of the country. While researching Japan, I stumbled across this mesmerizing footage of this maple tunnel train ride in Kyoto. I was captivated for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a train ride and I love train rides, especially sleeper trains. My first horror film was about a sleeper train journey in Vietnam. I don't know what it is about train journeys, I just love them. You can pretend you're on this grand adventure. Secondly, the colors. The autumn leaves were so mesmerizing, I had to recreate this scene for my next animation film. So my film is about a Transport for London employee who dreams of trading her monotonous job for an artistic one. She boards a seemingly ordinary train for her routine inspection, but suddenly the doors close behind her and she's whisked away on a journey through time. Without giving away too much, but during this magical trip, she'll venture through this nightmarish path, but then the scene will shift to this beautiful maple tunnel scene. Yeah, so this week we're bringing that scene to life. It's probably going to be my most ambitious project yet. I mean, I did have another ambitious project and it was for this 3D challenge. But before we dive in, I want to talk about time management. I'm giving myself eight hours to complete this project. The reason why I time box myself is because I tend to get carried away. I am a perfectionist and I always end up tweaking things for hours. But if I time box myself, I force myself to accept the end result after eight hours. Of course, I will revise some stuff and fine tune later, but I generally accept the end scene. It's gonna be a long weekend. Let's get cracking. Luckily, I crafted this train a few weeks back, so I just need to focus on the environment. I think with this scene, I'll start in a dark tunnel. Simple enough, right? It's just a tunnel and it's dark. Maybe I'll add some pipes and cables and a lamp to show we're moving. But here's the kicker. The train isn't actually moving, it's static. The world and environment is. The reason why I do this is because later on when I animate a character within the train, I don't need to be chasing the train around. It keeps things simple. The whole environment is going to be dark, so I don't need to worry too much about all the little finer details. I just need to focus on the trees. The real stars are the trees. All eyes will be on them because the environment will be dark. The lights will be switched off in the train. So maybe this is an easy scene after all. Finally, an easy one. I'm more interested in storytelling than 3D modeling. I don't want to craft everything myself, it's just so time consuming. What I tend to do is I buy asset packs where it can save me some time. For example, these trees are from Botanique. Huh, what trees should I use for this maple tunnel scene? With some tweaks and variations, I'll create a forest. These trees are going to be demanding on the computer, especially because I'm going to animate them. So I'll stick to four variations and duplicate them to fill out the scene. Another nifty little trick is to use photographs in the background. The audience will barely notice and you could use less 3D models and save you some computing power. I want the leaves to be mostly still, but a gentle breeze to bring that scene to life. Oh, how lovely is this? 
another essential element I need to add from that video is the green traffic light. The bright green contrasts the red so nicely, I need to include it. Of course, this scene is all about lights. There seems to be powerful lighting below the tree shining light up, which gives this great effect. I could replicate this easily in my scene, I just need to get the power and the tone right. Sound is as crucial as lighting, and it's my weakest point. I need to get the sound right. You would watch something that has very low resolution, but great sound where you can understand everything that's going on. But you wouldn't watch something that has very high resolution and you can't even pick up the dialogue. So yeah, you need to spend some time on sound. Final tweaks before bedtime. I'm actually doing good for timing. I thought it was going to take way longer. It's a simpler scene than I thought. Maybe because I crafted the train first. Um, yeah, let's just hit the render button and I could go to sleep. Not too bad, I thought it was going to be way more challenging. Of course, I'll revise this later and adjust a few things, but I'm pretty happy now. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.